Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. I am Ayaz Zafar and today we are going to dive into a very exciting and essential topic for all Angular developers out there. Importing JSON files in Angular. Whether you are building a small project or a large enterprise level application, this skill is going to be incredibly useful for you. Before we jump into the practical part, let's quickly talk about what JSON is. JSON which stands for JSON Object Notation is a lightweight data interchange format. It's easy for humans to read and write for machines to parse and generate. JSON is built on two structures, a collection of name value pairs which in various languages is realized as an object, record, struct, dictionary, hash table, keyed list, or associative array and an ordered list of values which is generally realized as an array vector list or sequences now why is this important for angular developers angular a platform for building mobile desktop web applications often requires data to be fetched processed and displayed json is a common format used for transmitting data in web applications it's used in configurations api responses and even in local data storage understanding how to import and handle json files in angular is crucial it allows you to effectively work with dynamic data, customize dynamic data, customize application settings and interact with external APIs. We will explore some of these real world applications throughout this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started and learn how to harness the power of JSON in Angular projects. Before we dive into the practical aspects of importing JSON files in Angular, let's ensure we are all on the same page regarding the prerequisites. To follow along with this tutorial effectively, you will need a basic understanding of Angular and TypeScript. Angular is our main framework and TypeScript is a language we use to write Angular applications. You will also need an integrated development environment or IDE. I recommend using Visual Studio Code but feel free to use any IDE you are comfortable with. Additionally, make sure you have Node.js installed as it's pre-required for the Angular CLI which is Angular command line interface. If you haven't already, you can download and install Node.js from the nodejs.org website and you can install angular cli by just running the command npm install dash g at the angular slash cli in your terminal or command prompt once you have these tools ready let's set up a new angular project open your terminal or command prompt and navigate to the folder where you want to your project to be then run the command ng new and then provide the project name in the terminal this command creates a new angular project named whatever you have specified while creating that project feel free to name your project anything you like after running this command you will be prompted to select a few options for your uh, new project such as whether to add angular routing or and which style sheet format you use for this tutorial i have selected yes for routing and use css for style sheet once your project is created you need to navigate into your project directory using cd space the project name and then open it in your ide and that's all for the setup you should now have a new angular project ready for you to work with in the next section you will start diving into the json files and how to import them into the project before we start coding let's get a good grasp of the basics of json which stands for javascript object notation json is a format used to represent data as a text which can be easily sent to and from web server and used by a web client like a browser a json object begins and ends with curly braces inside data is written as a key value pairs separated by commas the key is always a string wrapped in double quotes the value on the other hand can be a string number boolean array or even another json object so this is a simple json example that you will see on this screen so notice the structure, it's quite readable and straightforward. Now how does Angular interact with JSON? Angular applications often need to fetch data from a server, process it and then display it. This data is frequently in JSON format, especially when dealing with REST API. There are two main ways Angular deals with JSON. First. Through data binding, Angular can display JSON data in HTML templates. It's a way of displaying server-side data on the client side. Second, Angular uses HTTP requests to fetch and send data. The HTTP client module in Angular allows us to get to make, get, post, 
put, delete, and other types of HTTP requests. It automatically converts JSON data to JavaScript objects and vice versa. In a nutshell, JSON serves as a bridge between your Angular application and external data sources. Understanding this interaction is key to making your application dynamic and responsive. With this background in mind, we are ready to dive into the practical side of things. In the next section, we will start with how to import JSON file directly in an Angular component. Now let's start with how to import a local JSON file into an Angular component. This is useful when you have static data in JSON format that you want to include in your application. So first of all, let us create a simple JSON file with the name example.json in your VS code or in your editor. So I will simply create it in the assets folder. And here I will add some sample JSON in it. Okay. So I have made a basic JSON file with uh, dummy data in it. Make sure that your file is in the assets folder. This is the standard place to keep static assets in Angular project. Now open your Angular component where you want to use this JSON data. To import the JSON file, we will use a standard TypeScript import statement. So I will be using it in the app.component.ts file. So here let's import it first. Now let's define a constructor and console that data. I can see an error about the path, so let me adjust it. Okay, now it is showing correctly. Now if you open your browser and check the console, you will see the data that is coming from the JSON file like this. So with this import statement, we are telling Angular to load the JSON file and assign its content to the variable data. We then log this data to the console to see the output. Remember, for this to work seamlessly, you might need to adjust your TypeScript configuration to reorganize JSON files. For this example, we will use a free public API to fetch some data from the remote API as well. So first ensure that you have implemented the HTTP client module in your app module. If you are using regular modules or if you are using standalone component, then you can add the HTTP client module in your imports array of that component directly. Okay. This module provides the HTTP client service we need. Now let's define our property private api url and so i will be using the json placeholder api that is very easy to use for testing or doing experiments with the apis so now we need to inject the http client you can use the constructor or you can directly inject that service by using the inject function i just have injected my http client service by using the inject function now i will define a function fetch data and now i will call that url by using the get method on the on the http client service and we have subscribed to it and we are now showing the console logs now we need to call that function on the constructor okay you can see that the http request was executed and it went to the user's api endpoint and we got the response and that was being displayed in the console so you may also preserve it in a variable and show it in the html as well okay now let's display it on the html okay you can see that all of the users are being displayed in the html as well so in this snippet we have a method fetch data that makes a get request to our api endpoint the http client.get method returns an observable which we can then subscribe to in our component to get the actual data by using http client angular handles the conversion of json data to javascript objects making it easier to work with data once received that's it for our step-by-step -step tutorial on importing and fetching json in angular next we will look at some practical use cases where these techniques are invaluable now that we have seen how to import and fetch JSON in Angular, 
let's explore some practical real world scenarios where these skills are crucial understanding these applications will help you to see the broader picture of why these techniques are so valuable a common use case is loading configuration data for your application from a json file for instance you might have a configuration file that includes api endpoints feature toggles or display settings by importing this json file you can easily adjust these settings without changing your code base after importing we use the data to configure our application this approach makes your app more modular and easier to update or customize another vital scenario is fetching data from rest api most modern web applications rely on api to fetch dynamic data for example your app might need to display a list of users posts our products fetched from an external server. These examples illustrate how JSON import and fetching are essential in creating dynamic, flexible, and maintainable Angular applications. By mastering these skills, you can handle various data driven scenarios with ACE. In the world of programming, encountering issues is a part of learning process. When working with JSON in Angular, there are some common hurdles you might face. Let's discuss these issues and how to troubleshoot them effectively. One frequent issue you might encounter is coarse or cross-origin resource sharing errors. This happens when you try to fetch data from a server that's on a different domain than your Angular app. Browsers block such requests for security reasons. To resolve this, you can configure the server to allow requests from your domain. If you are only in the development phase, a workaround is to use proxy configuration in Angular or a coarse plugin in your browser. Another common problem is the syntax error in your JSON file. These errors can cause your application to fail at parsing the JSON. Always ensure your JSON is correctly formatted. Tools like JSON Lint can help validate your JSON syntax. Now let's talk about some best practices in handling JSON data in Angular. First, always handle possible errors in your HTTP request. This can be done using the catch error operator from RxJS in your data service. Another best practice is to type your responses. While HTTP client in Angular automatically converts JSON data to JavaScript objects, it's good practice to define interfaces for your data. This provides better predictab predictability and auto completion in your code. Also consider using Angular services for your data fetching logic. This separates concerns in your application and makes your components cleaner and more focused on the view. Lastly, be mindful of the size of the JSON data you are importing or fetching. Large JSON files can impact performance, so it's essential to optimize the data and if possible, load only what is necessary. Well, we have reached the end of the journey today on how to import and work with JSON files in Angular. Let's do a quick recap of what we have covered. We started with a brief introduction to JSON and its significance in web development, especially in Angular applications. We then moved on to the setting up our Angular project and discussing the prerequisites for the uh, for, for following this tutorial. In our step-by-step -step tutorial, we explored how to import a local JSON file and how to fetch JSON data from a remote server using Angular's HTTP client. We also divided into some practical use cases demonstrating the real-world application of these techniques. Finally, we discuss discussed common issues you might encounter and shared some best practices to help you avoid and troubleshoot these challenges. If you found this tutorial helpful then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Your support really makes a difference and motivates me to create more tutorials. I would love you to see how you apply these techniques in your projects. So feel free to share your progress, ideas or any questions you have in comment section below. I will do my best to answer them and provide further guidance. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. I hope this tutorial has been informative and helpful in your Angular development journey. Stay tuned for more content and until next time, happy coding.